It's time to go back to Bethesda. It's time to basically drool over whatever Aaron and others are eating. I have faith in Aaron. Aaron will bring something back to the studio for me. Uh, you, you just it. keep on thinking that, Nick. Right? Right? No, we'll hook you up, buddy. We got I'm going to eat that whole pizza, I'm just saying. It looks mighty good. All right, we've got a true taste of Bethesda here. Marine and I are going to start with Duck Duck Goose because this guy right here, this is uh, Sheesh Alfred, better known as Chef Al. So he's got Duck Duck Goose in Bethesda. He's got Chop House in Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Just opened Duck Duck Goose in Fells Point. But more importantly, the Post just wrote you up as one of the top 10 new restaurants or had a great review. Bethesda Magazine said top 10 new restaurants. So you are the it guy. That's what they tell me. <laughs> Feast on. You know, we change the menu a lot at Duck Duck Goose, but these are a couple of our staples. Uh, we like to show off a lot of our vegetarian options. We've got a great cauliflower steak over some date puree. We've got some charred broccolini over some lemon curd and some almonds. And we've got a roasted Japanese eggplant with wow. a little bit of lemon yogurt. Mm. And, of course, we're famous for our dry-aged duck with beets. What mm. made you want to do French cuisine? Um, I just really hated um, everything else. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. There's no, look, I, I am a francophone to the core, so I yeah. love French cuisine. Um, you know, French food stuck. We enjoy it. And uh, Bethesda has been kind to us and yeah like it and when you decided that you wanted to enter into the restaurant world why bethesda why not bethesda bethesda yeah. is a great city great people uh there's so much happening here there's obviously things like the taste of bethesda great event for families great event for people to live here so um yeah i mean Bethesda's a great place to be we're happy to be here i like that you don't just make delicious dishes you make visually appealing dishes which is one of your specialty i mean you this is not just any chef folks this guy is trained i mean with with the with in classical cuisine here brag a little bit about yourself and how <laughs> <laughs> Why you make your dishes so appealing, not just for the taste buds, but for the eyes as well? Well, first and foremost, I have a great team. It's not just me. Mm -hmm. Secondly, mm -hmm. um, you know, you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, it, the first thing that happens when you sit down for a meal is you see what happens mm -hmm. in front of you. So I think that you know it should be a sensory experience on all levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, realistically, now that you've had this big write-up in the post, how tough is it to get a table? Um, not that tough. I know a guy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we know a guy. You know a guy. You now know this guy. He's yes. the only one you need to know. And I'm glad to know this guy for sure. For sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. So what does the future hold for you? More more restaurants? I know we've got the Baltimore location. Yeah. Any plans to expand even further? Or we've got more? a couple things in the works. Uh, we're keeping it tight to the vest right now. We've got a couple things in the I works. I understand. All right. Understand. Sounds good. Chef mm. Al, thank you so much. Thanks it's amazing. Having. Aaron, I'm going to hand it over to you. And whatever stories they tell you about me and Sangria, don't believe it. <laughs> Berto? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, maybe I'll get to have a drink and beat your stories here today. You Thank you, Chef Al, Marine, and Holly.